Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Matt and it is Bloodthirsty Thursday. Uh, first and foremost, I hope each and every one of you are having a great morning, evening, dawn, day or dusk, all that wonderful stuff. I hope you're having a great time as you're doing it. Uh, please do like, share and subscribe. I love seeing all your new faces and of course all you old faces that have been here since day one. I love seeing you as well. Uh, please, uh, as I just said, like, share and subscribe and please do always look in the description box for more information on the, on the movie or film of the day that today's today's movie will have a uh, couple of things about some trivia in there uh, uh what was it we had uh, um uh we had some stuff on there about how uh, uh some of the gore gags were pulled off were that were pulled off were filmed after um uh production had already already wrapped uh they went through and they refilmed some stuff and it just so happened to be in the back of the the backyard of the uh, director's uh, uh parents house uh and then uh what else did we have in here oh and they also uh dubbed over the uh the the uh, um, uh, the killer's voice in this, they thought her voice was not a was not scary enough to be to be uh, 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 taken seriously. You know, one of those ordeals. So they so they the whole movie her voice has been dubbed over. So if you if, if it look, I didn't notice any any like glitches glitches or like weird uh, 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 like pauses or anything in the in the lips so i didn't really notice it to be quite honest so they did a very good job uh dubbing that over in the entire film but uh, uh um anyways uh this one came out in 1982 so 38 years ago it's been a hot minute since the, since this one's came this one came out uh this is run, this is a rated art cut and it's the one i have is running at an hour and 30 minutes now what it is is house on sorority row yes folks this is a region 2 release it does say region b or, or region does it say b or region 2 it says region b on the back um, it does play on on Region A Blu-ray players. I have tested it on multiple Blu-ray players, and it play or Region One players, and it does play on there. Uh, this is uh, un this was a uh, cheaper release when I got it um, compared to the uh, Scorpion releasing. Uh, this one comes from Shock Entertainment, which is a uh, UK company. As far as special features goes on here, there is like nothing. It's all it has is a trailer gallery. Uh, uh, this is just, you know, a little basic slip cover. And then we got to the movie itself. It's a standard issue pressed Blu-ray with zero reversible cover artwork. Um, as I kind of expected, I expected it to be pretty basic um, for the price of how, what I paid for it, to be quite honest. <coughs> um but uh like i said this came out in 1982 uh runs at an hour and 30 minutes uh imdb listed it as as an hour and 31 minutes uh i don't know if that is a correct runtime um i this one may suffer from being cut as far as i know uh being a a uh, european uh release of the film because sometimes let's just face it folks you folks over in there in the in the uh uk you guys have um really bad problems with censorship and and uh uh freedom of speech is pretty wonky over there for for certain certain places and or for as far as like uh uh film goes there's some some weird things going on there especially with the uh the gore stuff back in the day uh uh the, the UK BBFC video nasties I forgot to check to see if this was on section 3 uh it it probably is not, but if it was to be on, on the video nasties list, it would lay in section three in that land right in there, which has a lot of great titles, which I highly suggest uh, uh, delving through all all three sections of it, one, two, and three. They are all amazing. Uh, there's some, not all of them. There's a lot of amazing titles in there, and they're well worth the uh, the delve into them. If you're, if you're a dedicated horror fan, uh, I do highly recommend doing that because it's... Uh, 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 
I hate to say like it's it's a rite of passage I guess to be a, a true horror fan is to to at least take some dives once in a while into the uh, video nasties archives or at least try to see all of them you know I've seen a good portion of them there are ones that uh, uh, are either seriously out of print or the only way you can get them is is uh, uh, like VHS format or something something wonky like that or laserdisc, which I don't have a laserdisc. I do have a VHS player, but uh, uh, it's packed away, and I I I don't remember where I packed it at. To be quite honest. <laughs> Oh shit, Matt. Uh, anyways, um, this one stars Catherine McNeil and Ellen Davidson. Um, at least that's the uh, old Ellen Davidson and Janice Ward. Um, those are the three listed for the for as far as the main starring cast. There is obviously more people on that list uh, or within the uh, the film itself. I probably should have went and listed all of the uh, the the uh, ladies for that are a part of the sorority. They're the graduating class of 1982. Essentially, now what is this movie about, Matthew? What is it about? You must say. Um, it's about uh, uh, this lady. It starts off with this lady who is uh, uh, the house matron for for this uh, uh, sorority house, and it starts off with her in a pre she's uh, giving birth and there there's obviously something wrong and something went wrong uh, something uh, uh, along the along the lines to where where it uh, uh, horribly uh, scarred the woman mentally uh, to where it like years and years later she still is uh, um, affected by it <coughs> now um Fast forward it to to 1982 when when uh, uh, the sorority that in question it, that night uh, or a few days that it is in question over this, but uh, um, uh, every year at this certain date uh, for the summer the uh, house is completely shut down. Nobody is allowed there. Uh, there's only person that's allowed there is the uh, ma the uh, matron uh, of the the house mother is the only one allowed there and there's a reason for it and it's because it's the uh, the anniversary to the whole birth of of her child and that whole debacle with with uh, uh, everything that went bad in in that scenario if if uh, if you pick up what I'm going where I'm going at with this. Now, um, these girls decide that um, because the the uh, house mother is kind of a kind of a, a, a wench, you know, she's not very nice. Um, she's very uh, uh, stuffy. It seems like she does, she's not really one that is is really into jokey moods. Um, so I don't really. Um, uh, uh, sympathize with her too much, like, but you're not supposed to be, not really supposed to sympathize with her a lot because, um, uh, her character is such a, such a dastardly asshole, you know, she's, she's an asshole. That's, that's the perfect way to call her, a perfect thing to call her, you know, most people throw out the bitch word. Uh, I'm just gonna say she's an asshole. <laughs> Uh, an asshole can be male or female, in my opinion, you know, I mean, uh, she definitely is one. But, so, she, she, like, quickly declines them being able to throw this going away party that is normally held at a, uh, a, uh, uh another location, but, uh, the, due to financial reasons, they're un unable to, to have this soiree going on down there, or up, up wherever they have it at, it was, I think, Silver Bear Lake, or some, Silver Bear Springs, or something like that, is what they said, um, uh, something like, something along those lines I could be very very wrong but anyways um uh, there, so they they decide they're going to move this function to to the uh, um, uh, sorority house, and you know what better place to have it? And quickly, the mother of the house, like I said, declines. Uh, they have a, a a very they have like an altercation between them. They decide um, they're going to throw the party anyways. Uh, the night before uh, everything goes down. Um, 
they're, they're having a little, just a little get together amongst themselves where they're, they're having rounds of, of, it looked like champagne, uh, uh, in giants, giant, uh, uh, fraternity looking steins, but uh, like beer steins, um, and they're giving off all these funny things, and the one one that always sticks in my head is this one girl talks about how she's born with a silver spoon uh, 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 in her mouth, but it's really up her nose, you know, like referencing a, a cocaine reference, which cracked cracked just cracks me up every single time I watch the movie, and it's something I often. Uh, 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 I once in a while will think about when um, I see somebody doing uh, cocaine in a in a movie or a television show. It, it's something that will pop into my head for for whatever reason. It's up my nose, but uh, um, they have that little thing that one of the girls decides she's going to um, invite a man over. Uh, uh, the house mother like quickly uh breaks that up in the middle of coitus uh she slashes open the the cuz the house mother carries this cane um that has like a like a bird on the top it's sharp on one end and then it's like like almost kind of like a hammer in ways um it, it's sharp on one end and then blunt on the other so it's yeah it's kind of like a hammer i would say on a cane <laughs> but anyways um she she slashes open her waterbed because I mean what the hell it's the eighties there's waterbeds I mean come on what better time to have one, <laughs> but so they she uh, she vows right then and there that she wants to get back at at the den mother, uh, they pull a, a trick on her where they put her cane in the middle of a pool they, this really dingy pool that has not who knows how long it's been since it's been cleaned, uh, so she goes in and uh, has to get in the water to get it uh there's a whole thing where they're using a gun to force her to get down in there um and then they they have some blanks in the gun they fire them off to scare her uh they're the last last there has happens to be one more bullet in the end and it's actually a real bullet and not a blank and they shoot her they think she's dead they wrap her up um very very just uh uh they do they're very nonchalant about it in ways i mean they have they have their um uh their inner struggles about it don't get me wrong uh but um they decide to go on with the party uh everybody all these people show up blah 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 uh the girls are picked off one by one along with some other people here and there there's some really memorable scenes in here uh, uh i rem there's one scene in particular that always another one that really cracks me up where this these three dudes or it's two or three dudes i can't remember exactly but they're uh, uh all in their um uh their tidy whities their their under underwear and their 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 bvds whatever you want to call them they're um standing there outside this dingy pool while everybody's inside at this party and they're going to go jump in the pool and swim around which is kind of gross but there's a there's one who's a very large 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 kid and they call him pig and as a matter of fact when he's in the water he's even he even refers to himself as a sea pig uh so there's a very funny scene that involves a a, a big fat guy jumping in or getting thrown or pushed into not thrown but pushed into a pool calling himself a sea pig uh it's a very funny scene um the gore gags are a little off point in my opinion uh that's what makes me wonder if this one may have a little bit of cuts uh maybe just little trimmings here and there like some of the gore i mean there is gore in this don't get me wrong um but I, I I wonder if there might be something that this one might be lacking. So I'm I'm going to look into um, possibly getting the Scorpion one again. I used to have that that releasing, but I traded it off stupidly. But uh, that's neither here nor there. Uh, that's that is what it is. But uh, um, I I definitely um, want to look into getting that. Um, if you guys know anything about uh, that release, is it running longer than ninety minutes? Please let me know. Um, is it running at ninety one minutes? Uh, that would be that's my uh, 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 real question on on hand. Is it running that long, or is IMDb wrong?
Uh, now, uh, as far as ratings go on this thing, a technical side, this thing is probably a 3 out of 5. It's middle of the road. It's it's not going to change your life on on, on filmmaking in general. Uh, it has some fun camera angles. The sound score is, it works. Um, uh, the... Uh, Acting is is on point. The story works. There's some fun uh, uh, camera camera angles going on. I think I said that already. Uh, the editing is is okay. It it uh, doesn't get choppy or anything. And there's a couple of parts where where it chops and and it uh, uh, doesn't get, it's doesn't really affect it too bad. But it uh, is enough to where to where I know I notice it and and go why did they just cut it right then and there uh if they were going to show that and build the momentum up why would they why would they cut it the way they way they did one of those ordeals uh there's a perfect scene exam perfect example in the middle of the film there during the party scene uh they're up in one room and they're talking and it's real very serious uh, uh conversation and you see the cigarette burns in the corner and so you know that um af after the first one the second one it's going to cut uh, cut to the next reel, so it's going to be a completely different scene change, and it, it's like it felt like almost instantaneously after they gave you the 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 story, this this uh, uh, little bit of dialogue, they they cut the momentum right then and there, and went to it with a different direction with the scenes in a different direction. Uh, it really it, it doesn't affect it overall, I guess for for most for most moviegoers in my opinion uh it doesn't affect it to the point to where i hate the movie i actually really do like this uh this was originally what i planned on reviewing last friday but uh, uh my schedule did not work out for me and I, this is actually the one that i was going to do so um as far as any kind of entertainment thing goes this one is a four out of five for me i find it extremely entertaining from beginning to end even with the uh, the uh, the couple of spots where where it kind of feels like the momentum hiccups a little bit, but um, other than that, it's still a really good movie. Uh, the twist in the end is stupid, but I still like it. Uh, uh, it it's it's childhood love right here at, at its finest. Uh, you know, I was growing up and I remember watching this when I was probably like nine, ten, eleven ish, like right around in that area. You know, that when I first saw it from for my very first time, you know, uh, uh, I probably should not have been watching it, but I did anyways. <laughs> anyways, I'm going to put that down. I'm going to get the hell out of here. I got things to do tomorrow. I got an amazing one lined up for you. A, uh, a masterpiece, in my opinion. Um, it's one that there is no gray area with it, for sure. You either absolutely love it or you absolutely hate it kind of movie. I don't I, I don't hear middle ground people too often. Uh, I guess once in a I think maybe one time I heard somebody say, "Oh, it's just okay, you know. You either love it or you're hate. You'll hate it." All right, love your faces.